Rubio's Coastal Grill is a restaurant chain specializing in Mexican food that opened in 1983. I see you got Rubio's Grilled Chicken Burrito. Uh-huh. The perfect choice for the perfect lady. Its tender char-grilled chicken is much like the tenderness of your heart. While its handmade guacamole, salsa fresca and cheese remind me of your bountiful beauty. You're so sweet, Rafael. Want a bite? Like taking candy from a baby. Try Rubio's Grilled Chicken Burrito with char-grilled chicken, handmade guacamole, and more. Now just $3.99, only at Rubio's. Do you merengue? Ralph Rubio was born in New Jersey and had originally lived on the East Coast for several years until his father, Rafael Ray Rubio, got a job at a plastics company. The family set off for California, first landing in Santa Monica before settling in Carson where Rubio would graduate from high school. He enrolled at San Diego State University as a business major on his father's advice but he would eventually graduate with a psychology degree. While in college, he discovered fish tacos in the 1970s. He and some classmates made the five to six hour trek to the quiet fishing village of San Felipe on the Sea of Cortez for spring break. There, he and his friends would camp out on the beach, eat fish tacos in town and drink Coronas. After taking a few trips to San Felipe, Rubio was inspired by the fish taco stand that was next to Club Miramar, which was their hangout. He drew on the business idea that he could introduce Baja-style fish tacos to San Diego. Rubio had acquired front of house and some management experience working for restaurants as an undergraduate. He also had an interest in starting his own business that he gained from his father, Ray, who he described as an entrepreneur who came from Mexico. After graduation, Rubio made a deal with his dad. If the younger Rubio got some experience in restaurant management, the elder would lend him $70,000 in startup cash to make the fish taco stand a reality. In 1983, father and son bought an old Orange Julius stand located on Mission Bay Drive in the Pacific Beach area of San Diego. He applied a fresh coat of paint and hung the Rubio's fish taco sign. Rubio's parents and four siblings helped him run the business in the early days. Rubio and his brother Robert spent months coming up with the recipe for authentic Baja fish tacos, working particularly hard on the beer batter. The recipe is essentially the one that is still in use. He used to carry it around in his wallet. The first restaurant offered french fries, calamari, fish tacos, among other cuisine. Despite their popularity today, fish tacos weren't an immediate hit. It would take in a year to build the business slowly with advertising by word of mouth. The second location opened in 1986 by San Diego State, the same year that the brand sold its millionth fish taco. However, it was the success of the San Marcos location, deemed more inland, that encouraged expansion beyond San Diego. Since then, the popularity of fish tacos has spread throughout California. Although they remain uncommon elsewhere, Rubio's standard fish tacos are made from Alaskan pollock, which is fried and served in a corn tortilla, although optionally offered with a flour tortilla. Grilled mahi-mahi is also available at all locations. Rubio said that it took about a decade before he felt Rubio's was established. The original fish taco remains the best-selling menu item, which started at 99 cents when it first opened. In 2005, a class action lawsuit was brought against the company, complaining that the lobster burrito offered at the restaurant contained squat lobster, also known as langostino, rather than clawed lobster. Rubio subsequently changed the name of their product to the Langostino Lobster Burrito to avoid future confusion. The burrito is currently only occasionally sold as a limited time offer. On August 24, 2010, Rubio's Restaurants Inc. announced the closing of its merger with the subsidiary of Mill Road Capital LP to take the company private. 
The chain was known as Rubio's Fresh Mexican Grill, which competed with restaurants like Baja Fresh, La Salsa, and Chipotle. We went from a Rubio's Fresh Mexican Grill, which featured a lot of emphasis on land proteins like chicken and steak, along with seafood, to Rubio's Coastal Grill with an emphasis on grilled seafood, Rubio said. By 2015, the company had 193 restaurants and had about 4,000 employees. They had locations in California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, and Colorado. The chain would sell its 200 millionth fish taco that summer. In June of 2020, Rubio's Coastal Grill told Nation's Restaurant News about the closure of all of their Florida and Colorado store locations due to the negative business impact of the coronavirus pandemic, and that they would then focus on the remaining stores in California, Arizona, and Nevada markets. Rubio's locations in Utah were closed in 2019. In October of 2020, the chain filed for bankruptcy protection. It now had more than 150 restaurants in three states, although numbers were reduced by a third after its 2020 bankruptcy. The company would sell its 270th million fish taco in 2023. On May 31, 2024, the chain closed 48 stores in California, including 13 in its hometown area of San Diego. Rubio's is among California's fast food restaurants affected by the increase in minimum wage costs, which took effect in 2024. California's hourly minimum wage increased to $16 for most workers on January 1st and to $20 for fast food workers in April 2024. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.